This is about to bring a major upgrade to your next smartphone camera. Chances are if you're using an Android device, it's being powered by Snapdragon. So they just announced their new Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which will bring big improvements all the way across the CPU, GPU, and NPU. If you don't understand any of that, that's okay. That just means your next flagship smartphone will be faster, smarter, and game better. But in this video, I'll partner with Snapdragon to show you the new incredible features this chipset will bring to the camera. Think about this as a Galaxy S24 Ultra camera preview, because more than likely we'll see this chipset in that smartphone, which is very exciting. And Xiaomi pulled a wild card by announcing the Xiaomi 14 series on stage at Snapdragon Summit. I had to get out of the sun because it was so hot, but for this week, this is the world's first phone with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 inside. This is a reference device by Qualcomm. You can't buy this phone, but this is meant to show you what the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 can do. And you know what? Let's not even waste any time. Let's just start it right off with a banger. Have you ever been in a situation where you took a beautiful picture, maybe on vacation like this on a beautiful Hawaiian sunset, but after looking at a photo, you wish that you would have captured more? Well, with this new powerful chipset, we can just simply zoom out and use the onboard AI to create that extra landscape with generative fill. And this is all done on device with no data connection. I was absolutely blown away by this. I tried this in some different scenarios and it worked much better than I thought it would. So this is just the beginning. I can't wait to see what this tech will enable in the future. Social media is everything, and I know I spend way too much time on it, so I think a lot of people will like the vloggers view feature. The best way to describe this is TikTok in real life without the green screen. It uses the front and rear camera at the same time so you can describe what you're seeing. This is all done in real time up to 4K 30, and you can even move around where you are on the screen. I think content creators will love this, and I'm sure you'll see this pop up in social media. What do you think? Would you use it? If you like the vloggers view feature, you're definitely gonna like this one. With generative AI, you can completely replace the background if you feel like it. Again, all done on device. Just tell the smartphone whatever you want the background to be. Here we asked for a rock concert with lots of guitars. And look at that, it worked perfectly. We tried so many of them, like a skate park. This was just way too fun. Another one here at a field at a football game. I mean, you name it, basically whatever you want that background to be. So the possibilities are endless. All done on device, which is incredible. The next one will be super practical for everyone. You know those blurry pictures that we always get when we're taking pictures of fast moving subjects like our kids and pets? That can get really annoying. By leveraging the more powerful NPU of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and partnering with Prophecy, this motion camera sensor can take multiple photos at the same time, analyze them, and fill in informational gaps to repair motion blur. So take a look at this example while locals are pounding poi. Look at normally what the image would look like, but here it is with the motion repaired. There it is side by side so you can see it clearer. I can't wait to see what smartphone manufacturers do with this one. The next one is one that I've been waiting for, and that is night vision for video capture. We have had it for photos for so long, but this uses visionary AI technology to create usable video in super dark conditions. We are talking sub one lux. Instead of this being done on the cloud like some other implementations, this is done on device. The preview is real time. In the demo, they had two smartphones shooting inside this box, one being the Snapdragon HN3 reference device, and you can see how much brighter this AI technology is. Now the image is a little noisy, but the manufacturer will be able to tune this and use it however they want to with optimization. I can see this being huge for video. And yes, before you ask, I looked inside the box. I was thinking about the comment section the entire time while I was filming this. There was no funny stuff going on here. There's the proof. Another video feature that I thought wouldn't be possible for a while is Video Object Eraser. I know we've had this in photos for a few years now, but video? This is much more complicated, so I didn't think that we were gonna see this so fast. The demo shown completely removes a person right in the frame, which I think will be a super useful tool for removing just that one person or object that ruined your perfect vacation shot. I mean, who is excited about this as a feature? Let me know in the comment section below. With all of this talk about AI, I know a lot of people are concerned, including myself, about the authenticity of photos. Is what you're seeing actually real or not? So to address this concern, Qualcomm has teamed up with TruePic to implement this in their chipset for image authentication. How this works is after you take a photo, you go into the metadata, then you can see which camera was taken on on what date, and the digital authentication by TruePic. But let's say that we take an image and we modify it with AI, then when you export that picture, you can see the original authentication on the bottom, but then at the top, you can see that it has a banner that shows you that it contains AI-generated content. And then if it's modified more than once, it shows up as a history. So this is something that I'm glad that's available at a chipset level. And I believe there's also a video implementation by TruePic on this, so that is great. 
The next one is a use of sensors that I never really thought about, but it's cool nonetheless. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 can leverage data from infrared spectroscopy and it's nothing like I've ever seen before. One of the demos, they legit scanned a cookie to see if it was fresh or not. I can see this being huge in the food industry. The second demo was where you can scan your skin to see what the moisture level is. This is wild. Of course I was low, so with AI, I'm sure Amazon's going to be selling a lot of moisturizer with this. And the third example was using the time of flight sensor to determine the air quality down to one microgram per cubic meter. For the demo, what they did was they sprayed aerosol particulates in the air and it detected it right away. So our air quality monitor right in your pocket and it can also detect smoke. And this is tapping into the new dual Qualcomm sensing hub so it can be on 24 seven. There is a new HDR photo option coming and it's a partnership with Dolby. I know you're familiar with Dolby HDR for video, but now it's coming to photos. Google has a 10-bit format and 10-bit high efficiency has been out for a while, but this is going to be Dolby's version of capturing 10-bit photos in Rec 2020 color space. And I'm hoping that includes a raw format as well. From the demos, they put up a side-by-side -side with SDR and this looks to be promising. So make sure you subscribe so I can update you as soon as this feature becomes available and more information is given. Last but not least is for the Samsung fans. Samsung and Qualcomm are partnering on a new 200 megapixel experience, and I'm not sure exactly what that means, but I'm sure that will be unveiled closer to the time of the release of that phone, so I'm super excited. Well, what I did get to see is real-time 4K preview on screen of 4X in-sensor crop zoom. They had it set up where it was being tested against digital zoom, and if you're familiar with my camera comparisons, I do this anyways. You can see how much sharper that 200 megapixel 4X crop zoom is in comparison to the digital zoom. Maybe this is a sneak peek of what we'll see, but that image looked really, really good. So I'm looking forward to what Samsung and Snapdragon have cooking in the background, and I guess we'll find out soon enough. So let me know what you think. Is the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 a game changer with its features and AI power? I think this is one of the most exciting updates that we have seen yet, and the benchmarks look promising. And this chipset overall should boost flagship Android smartphones coming up this year and the next. So thank you for joining me. Thumbs up if you're looking forward to this chipset going into your next favorite smartphone. And I will see you guys in the next one. Now it's time to enjoy the beach. It's hot out here. See you in the next one.